So I have my molecular motion demonstrator, and I have a divider here that is going to make the volume small for these number of gases. Obviously, right now we're dealing with either a liquid or a solid, and I'm going to increase the temperature, and when I do so, the uh, collisions or the gas molecules should evaporate, okay, and they should actually hit the sides of the container and, and, and show some pressure. Let's do that. Okay, these particles are trying to act uh, ideally and be independent. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this bond, make the bond twice as large for the same number of molecules under the same temperature. And this is all of that. You temperature and number of molecules constant as I increase the volume, what can happen to the number of collisions in the container wall? They clearly decrease. And the pressure decreases. Now if you're watching carefully, are they decreasing more than they should? Is, I would say yes. These molecules are actually starting to what, attract each other. Some of these are just kind of sticking together and not being independent. So they're looking like there's some real gas behavior here. Okay? The pressure definitely decreased because there is more space. And that's what it's like. But I bet this pressure has decreased a little more than normal because some of these molecules here are not actually independent. They're sticking together and showing some attraction. Now, I can uh, uh, alleviate these attractions by increasing the temperature. Anytime you increase the temperature, you can overcome these attractive forces somewhat and make these gases act more ideally. Let me do that. So, increasing the temperature, there's definitely less attractive forces and gases are acting more randomly. And our gas laws, our ideal gas laws, calculations wise, would approximate what we'd expect. If I lower the temperature, we would expect the pressure to decrease proportionately. But if the gases start attracting each other, we're probably going to have some condensation. And that condensation is going to cause our gases to become liquids or even solids and not produce the pressure we expect because of that. All right? Boils law and some real gas behavior.